Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Mary in charge of training and career advisory services here at Corporate Staffing. And today, in the next few minutes, we'll be looking at how best to demonstrate confidence during an interview. I am joined by one of the interview coaches here at Corporate Staffing Services, who will be expounding more on this subject. Thank you so much, Anne, for joining me. Thank you so much, Mary, for having me. I know the way I'm seated already, you're <laughs> uh, judging me, you're wondering whether I'm exuding that confidence. Great. So what role does the body language play when it comes to demonstrating confidence during an interview? All right. So when you're conducting your interview, body language is very important because mm -hmm. apart from the answers that you're giving us verbally as interviewers, we're also focusing on your body language. So body language helps us to understand whether you're a confident person, whether you're in charge, whether you crack under pressure, <laughs> including the pressure of an interview. Mm -hmm. So it is important to ensure that your body language speaks as much confidence as you are in your answers. Mm -hmm. So it, it carries the bigger share of the entire conversation. Correct. Great. Any tips perhaps you can share with us on how best a candidate can employ um, to be able to convey confidence either through their posture, the facial expression, the body language in, uh, as a whole. All right. Mm -hmm. So you can leverage body language in various ways to ensure that you're exuding confidence during the interview. Mm -hmm. And the first thing is the sitting posture. You mm -hmm. need to sit upright and avoid slumping in your seat. Mm -hmm. Let me see. <laughs> upright. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. just like you are. You need to sit <laughs> upright like Mary is. Uh, another thing that you need to maintain is eye contact. Mm -hmm. uh, once you're avoiding eye contact with your interviewers, uh, it shows that you're not confident enough and you're not in charge. So make sure you maintain eye contact throughout your interview and focusing on the person who's asking you the question. Mm -hmm. uh, and make sure that you're not staring. There's a very thin line between <laughs> staring and uh, maintaining eye contact. Mm -hmm. So make sure it is balanced. Uh, another thing is uh, your hands. You need to make sure that your hands are not fidgeting mm -hmm. or uh, you're in a defensive position like this. Mm -hmm. It shows that you're not confident. So these are some of the many ways that you can uh, leverage body language mm -hmm. in your interview. Mm -hmm. You've just mentioned with regards to eye contact, you should not stare. So how much time should I take when maintaining eye contact? So when you're maintaining eye contact, uh, it needs to be for about three to five seconds and then mm -hmm. you break it and mm -hmm. then uh, you reconnect again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Anne. How effectively then can I showcase my confidence during an interview without coming across as um, either arrogant or overconfident? Yes, so Mary, like we say, too much of everything is uh, poisonous. Mm -hmm. So as much as you're maintaining eye contact, break it from time to time so that uh, you avoid staring, which makes you appear arrogant or overconfident. Another thing is to acknowledge everyone who's present during the interview, especially if it is a panel interview. So as much as you start answering your question by focusing on the person who's asking you the question, mm -hmm break eye contact with them and uh, engage in eye contact with everyone else who's present in the panel mm -hmm. as you're answering your question. Mm -hmm. So this makes sure that uh, every panel member present feels that you acknowledge their presence. Mm -hmm. Another thing is to ensure that you maintain an upright posture throughout uh, the interview, mm -hmm. but do not slump into your seat so that uh, you don't appear arrogant again. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can also use uh, hand gestures when you're articulating your points, but avoid using them too aggressively so mm -hmm. that you don't appear overconfident. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know one of the areas that most candidates are struggling with is the right sitting posture. And of course, when someone is leaning so much on the seat, when the conversation gets comfortable, chances of you forgetting that you are still in an interview room is very high. Yes. And the interviewers might conclude you are either arrogant, you are overconfident. And we all know what overconfidence is associated with. These are some of the character traits a candidate doesn't want to bring out during the interview. Yes. Great. I believe we, someone has been able to learn one or two things. And we look forward to having you in the next video. Thank you. I look forward to the next one. Awesome. Indeed, exuding confidence during an interview is very key for you as a candidate. And it is important to know how best you can be able to bring out confidence so that you don't appear overconfident or underprepared during an interview. This is just but one of the areas that we cover when you 
uh, we, you sign up for interview coaching or preparation sessions, there is quite a lot to discuss within a whole two hours. So we encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get more tips and also reach out to us whenever you have an upcoming interview and we'll be glad to help you package yourself better for that particular role. We look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.